What is going on YouTube? This is your boy Clay, bringing you guys another YouTube video. And this one right here is going to be a long one, so make sure you pause the video, grab a snack, get a drink. Make sure you settle in for this one because there's a lot to talk about, there's a lot to explain, and there's a lot I just kind of want to set straight about what's happening. So, I'm sure you guys knew the sequence of events happened that me and Attach released Cap and Chris uh, after X Games left the Nile looking for two, and then me and Attach went over to FaZe Clan to join Enable and Zuma over there on their squad at FaZe. And a lot of you people are wondering why we made this move, why we ditched on Denial, um, you know, phase downgraded, all this stuff. And I kind of just want to make this video to set everything straight, to kind of put everything into perspective and give you guys my side of the story and just my feelings on the entire issue. So, um, basically, I'll start from the beginning. After we had lost X Games, uh, Replays came up to me and asked me, he goes, hey man, I know I haven't been performing too well, but... If uh, you guys want me to step down, I will. And Cap came up to me and said basically the same thing. So we all four had a talk. And we realized, like, it's going to be very difficult just finding one player to come join our team. Like, say if we just dropped Cap or just dropped replays, it was going to be a little more difficult to just find that one player to complement our team. Whereas there's plenty of duos out there, two people that we could pick up and potentially nurture, uh, use their chemistry and our chemistry and just build chemistry between the two, two groups of two. Uh, we found it to be a little easier to do that, so we ended up releasing J-Cap and Replays after X Games, uh, all on good terms, we all talked about it, I'm still good friends with those guys, uh, harbor no bad feelings towards them and stuff like that, and as you guys may know, I'm one of the most loyal people in this community, you know, I've always preached loyalty, chemistry to your teammates, um, you know, just all that stuff like that, because I value that over just forming a god squad, and a lot of you think that's maybe what we tried to do, but that's definitely not what we tried to do. Uh, me and Dylan went through every list, every player, literally listed every single player that there is in the game. Obviously knocked or crossed out the four on Optic Gaming. And then that left us with, you know, FaZe and everyone else below that. And then we're like, alright, well, who is our best possible two that we can pick up? And so we're like, alright, um, Zuma was one of the first names out of our mouth. Just because of the player that he is, the explosive sub player that he is, that we want to complement with attach and so i asked Zuma at, at x games after x games i was like would you be interested in joining denial at all and he basically said no like no way i'm not joining denial uh you know i don't like the organization i was on it before they're kind of they're kind of weird about me and all that stuff so i don't want to join so then me and dylan and i next option and so we kind of made a list of like uh you know what we need in a player uh what we needed in the second player that we get how do we want to do this and what's the best way to get these players and so we had this option of, you know, do we try and snake someone off phase? And so we're like, well, we want the best possible player on our team. And during this whole time, we're trying to get people to join Denial because Denial was offering us a really good salary in our contract uh, base, with incentive base, stuff like that. But I never signed a contract. Like, I'd never gotten paid a dime from Denial salary-wise, anything like that. I'd never gotten paid from Denial at all. They didn't take a cut of our earnings, which was nice, but still, like, they... They've only they only paid for me to fly out to these events and stuff. And realistically, you know, all these events that they flew us out to that they paid for us to fly out, we got second or first. And Gfinity, you're like, oh, well, you got eighth there or whatever. But yeah, we, they didn't fly us out there. It was Gfinity flying us out there. So I feel like in a way, my debt was owed to denial or was paid up to denial in a way because of the placings that I'd got with them, especially when I caught champs with this team. Uh, I felt that I didn't really owe them anything, although I owed them my loyalty, which is true. Um, and we, it came down to this, this option right here. So me and Dylan decided that we wanted the best chances of winning the rest of the year possible. That's it. We don't like organizations aside, all that stuff aside. We just want two players that we can win with that we feel like we have the best chance to win with. So we were like, all right, we're going to pick up, let's hit up Slasher or Hook. And so I talked to them a little bit, and I was like, hey, you guys are interested in leaving fans come to Denial? And they started considering it. And they were like, oh, yeah, you know, we'll talk to Slasher, or I'll talk to Hook tonight, and we'll figure this out. Stuff like that. So I was like, all right, you know, I, I hate being that guy, but I'm just looking out for myself and for Dylan, trying to get the best team possible. Like, I, I mean, I'll admit that, yeah, I went and talked to them, but, like, who wouldn't? Like, why wouldn't you go talk to them if you feel they're the best chance of winning? And so then, I guess, Zuma and Enable got wind of us trying to pick up Slasher and Hook, and Zuma hit me up and was like, yo, uh, if these guys are thinking about leaving, would you and Dylan be interested in teaming with me and Enable because we don't want to play with somebody that's, like, trying to sketch on us, that doesn't have confidence in this team, uh, that's thinking about leaving, especially after getting Silver and beating OG in a series at UMG Cali. Uh, all that stuff, if they're already thinking about leaving, then there's no point in even sticking with this team because they're not seeing it as long-term. 
So me and Dylan kind of went back to the drawing board and we're like, well, will you guys come to denial? Like, they'll offer you guys salary. They'll offer you guys, uh, you know, um, a really good salary with incentives and stuff like that, security and stuff. And they're like, um, well, to be honest with you, we don't want to leave FaZe. So um, we're, we want you guys to come over to FaZe. And so we're, me and Dylan are like, all right, well, do we want to leave, you know, denial after um, us, us dropping cap and replays? But this opportunity wouldn't have arose without that catalyst starting with cap and replays because there never would have been two people to talk to, two people to consider sketching, two people to consider talking to us. This all never would have happened, excuse me, if it wasn't for the catalyst of us releasing cap and replays. And so then me and Dylan kind of came back uh, and started talking together like, yo, uh, we don't really want to leave denial. We want to stay on denial. Uh, so let's see what our other options are. And our other options were very, very slim. Um, you know, I don't want to name any names because they may or may not have been sketching on their current teams. But the other options we had were very um, volatile or risky options. And you guys might think as soon as I say volatile or risky, I'm, I'm saying parasite, but it's, I'm not saying parasite. It's, it's, um, it's one of those things where you didn't know what player you were going to get out of, out of our plan B. Well, I guess it would be our plan C at this point. And then past that, it was like plan D. And with those players, you're, you're dipping into like, you know, the players that have the ability to perform, but you don't know if they can perform against the best. Like, they can't perform against OG in the finals, or they can't perform against, you know, FaZe or stuff like that. And it's all questionable. And so we wanted people that we knew that we could win with. Like, this team that we have now, it, it might not look as good as you guys think it is. And you guys might say it's downgrade. And that why did they make this change? They made this change because I talked to Hook and Slasher, and they considered leaving. They even told me no, eventually. They told me no before we even decided to join FaZe. So they are they went back to FaZe, and then FaZe ended up releasing them because of them like even entertaining the thought of leaving, which made us have an opening. It wasn't like they dropped them because of their skill or because of the players that they are. It was just because of the whole sketchy factor of it. And then, I guess... We went and talked to Zuma and some of the leaders of FaZe, and we're like, yo, you know, we're getting this really good salary from FaZe, or from Denial. Uh, we're getting, I have the captain spot over at Denial. It's stability over here. I really like it over here being the captain. Uh, all this stuff. And then they're like, we'll match it. We'll match anything you guys want. We want you guys on the team. We're going to offer you the same benefits of Denial in terms of salary, in terms of being the captain, in terms of running the show, all that stuff. We'll give you all of that straight up just because we want you guys on the team. And then... You have the fact that we have a championship caliber team on phase instead of having a potential top four team on denial. Uh, potential top four. Like, really, that's pushing it, potential. And, you know, it just became obvious. And then we took what we really wanted, which was, you know, a competitive championship caliber team. Dylan and I, but when I say we, when Dylan's attached, if you guys didn't know. And we basically said, well, in the end, we just want to win. Like, I don't want to be, like, like, stuck on an organization and squandering away my chances of winning more tournaments just because I have loyalty to the organization that I've paid my debt to by performing very, very well on them. And, you know, you guys might see, like, be like, well, you left them out to dry. Like, you dropped cap in replays, and then you and Dylan just end up leaving. But, yeah, this wasn't, like, the plan. Like, we didn't intend on doing this. And I feel terrible about it. Like, I talked to Robbie for a half hour the other night, and I, I was still texting him last night, and I feel awful about doing it. Like, I really, really do. But in this in this COD world, like, if you don't look out for yourself, then you end up just gonna, you're just going to end up being thrown to the, to the wolves, and, and you're going to be thrown in the gutter, and you're going to be stepped on, and you're just going to be covered up, and you're going to be forgotten about. And it's, it's hard to say, and it's a hard decision to make, but when I talk to everybody, like I have, you know, my brothers I talk to, and some close friends and family and stuff like that, about the whole situation – before I even made the decision and all of them said the best, the same thing, you know, like if you're off, if you're getting offered the same deal when it comes to your contracts on both organizations and, but one of them has a more like a team more apt to win than the other, then it's an obvious choice. And that doesn't even take into account the whole, you know, what phase brings to the table in terms of social media presence, in terms of YouTube presence and stuff like that. That's not even including all of that. That's just saying straight up, Orgs aside, which team is better? Uh, the phase one is the best roster that we could put together. Then you go to the orgs, and it's like, what does the orgs have to offer? Well, the same exact thing, because phase matched what Denial had, but then phase also has that social media presence that can improve your YouTube. You've seen what it's done for Sensor and stuff like that. 
But that's not what I'm thinking about. You know, that's just kind of an, an afterthought for me. I'm not focusing on what they can do for me in YouTube or what they can do for my stream or, or any of that stuff. I'm honestly just focusing, focusing on what team can win a championship. And a lot of you people might be like, well, Hook has been their most consistent player. You guys dropped Hook and you have Attach instead. You know, you might be a slight upgrade over Slasher, but Attach, in my opinion, is a really uh, big downgrade over Hook. And in that sentence, I kind of disagree, uh, especially with Hook now being 18. You're not planning for the future very well. Um, the Gfinity events plus, you know, I can't really talk about a couple of the other events coming up, but there will be some more international events that I can't really speak about in the next six months or so. So, you know, it just doesn't make sense to not have an 18 plus team, which is another benefit of this team that we have. Um, I think that the team that we put together is pretty much the best that we could ask for in the circumstances that we were given. Um, I'm not sure if Zoom and Enable think that me and Attach are their best two that they could have had, or I don't know if Attach thinks that Zoom and Enable are the best two that we could have, but I feel like the puzzle pieces of this team will work together very well. Um, I know you guys are just taking my word for it, but I just want you guys to know that like I didn't do this lightly. Like Me and Dylan didn't make this uh, decision very lightly when we left Denial. Like, it was a very, very hard decision, and it took us... like you know, many, many phone calls for Dylan and I to even, like, work up the courage to make this decision. But in the end, I feel like it's the best possible option that, like, from the cards that we were dealt. Um, you know, when everything settled out and this was all we had and our other options were really, really slim and, you know, we weren't sure if we could win with the other teams that we had, then it just kind of became an obvious decision. Like, why am I sticking around on denial when I have an opportunity to go to phase? And to be be a part of a potential top one team and dethrone Optic Gaming. So I hope you guys understand my decision here. And like I said, I feel awful about it. I, I couldn't sleep last night because I felt so bad. But in the end, like I said, we're all in this to win championships. We're all here to, you know, make some money winning these tournaments. And I'm going to be on the best team that offers me to do that. And I apologize if I, you know, offended any fans of the Wolfpack or any fans of my own with my, uh, you know, just like disloyalty. But... Like I said, you got to look out for yourself. Nobody's going to look out for you. And if you don't do it yourself, you're just going to be thrown away. And so I don't want that to happen to me again. I'd rather live this live this dream while I still can. You know, I'm getting a little older. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing this. Uh, so I want to win as much as I can before this ride ends. And I hope you guys understand my decision. And uh, mine and Dylan's decision. It's not just mine. And, you know, have a great rest of your day, guys. Much love, everyone. Peace out.